Hi, so this is a short video showing how to use Fusion 360 circuits to design a PCB. Uh, it's part of my project where I've designed a servo tester using a 555 and I used Fusion 360 to design it. But I'm going to design a simpler circuit to, so to get the basics through um, so you understand how it all goes together. So this is my PCB that for my servo tester and then I've got a schematic and there's more details on this on my instructables write-up but what I'm going to do is a, a simpler circuit just a, a switched LED lamp so we go to file new electronics design and then we go to new schematic and that will open a new schematic eventually and then we want to place components so this is where we get all our components from so the first thing I'm going to place is a pin so I'm going to go in the search bar and choose pin and go down and I want two of these so if I double click that and then if I right click it will rotate it so I'm going to place that one there and this one somewhere down the bottom here and click done the next component I want is a switch so if I type in switch and I want a very simple little switch here so you can view the components here so if I double click on that that will place that there that's okay the next thing I want is a resistor. So if we just tap in resist, and then we've got an actual one, but you can choose a surface mount resistor if you wish, if you want to do surface mount, but I'm gonna make this all just through hole because it's a really simple design. So that's in the wrong orientation. So if I right click, it'll rotate it, click done. And then last but not least, we're having our LED. So if we scroll down, you'll see this one here this is yellow at the moment but we're going to choose a blue LED double click and our blue LED is there done so this I want to move so just click on it and drag and then using my mouse it, I'm just zooming in on the scroll wheel so the next thing we're going to do is use the net command to place some tr um, connect all the components together so that one so you click on the component you want to connect and that's all our com components connected right the next thing I want to do is add a value to this resistor so right click value and then 330 R and that gives my resistor a value so before I do anything I'm going to save this as LED underscore one and press return so that's saved so we've done our schematic now we're going to do a, an error check so click on validate and then ERC and that will do an error check and as this is a very simple circuit we've come up with no errors but obviously if you do that means you'll need to address them um, next thing we want to do is move over to the PCB design so if we click switch that will then move us across to the PCB design so these are all the components on the left this black square is the PCB so the first thing we want to do is move all the components onto the PCB so I'm going to, that's our first component is our pin the next component I'm going to move is the switch obviously this is a very simple design then the resistor but this needs rotating so if you click rotate then just click left click on it then click done then move that there the same we'll need to do for the LED rotate then click on it two three times click done and then move that there and then the last thing I want to move is the final pin I'm going to move that a bit away because I'm going to show you something while we're doing it so um, the next thing I want to do this I know this value here 330 is not on the silk screen it's on the top layer so I want to click properties and it's on values top now I want to move it to silk screen top and click OK so now that is on the silk screen layer so you will actually see it for when we assemble our PCB uh, the next thing I'm going to do is resize the actual board so if we click on the board and then we can just drag the edges to down so that's our top edge and our bottom edge I'm going to drag this up 
and then our right hand side I'm going to move across Oops, I'm going to undo that and redo that keep it nice and straight so and then the right hand side edge I'm going to move across so it's somewhere in the middle here right so that's our PCB um, uh, what I want to do now is add some text so if you go across you can choose draw text and I want this on this silk screen layer on the top and I want to call my PCB LED PCB and I want probably a bit smaller so if I go 56 mil and then if I right click it will rotate so I'm going to put that there click done so there's our PCB now we want to do some traces so click design root manual then click on the component you want to connect so we're in the top layer so if you look here we're on top so we can then go down to the bottom layer if we want and we can connect the components so in the top layer now the last thing I want to do is show you how to place a via so if you're designing a more complex circuit and you need to move between the top and bottom layers you need to use a via so you don't the have traces clashing so if you click on the component so at the moment we're in the bottom layer then if you click the mouse middle button you'll place a via so we're going to put it here so left click again then we've jumped back up to the top layer and that's now connected so this is our PCB we've got the components and we've got the traces we've drawn some text on it we've resized the board now we're going to check how it looks by looking at a 3d view so if we click push to 3d PCB and then click push again so it takes a while to do this but this is the one of the best parts of Fusion 360 because you get a really good 3D view of your design and that's really good if you're integrating your design into like an enclosure or another structure as part of your project so you can then integrate everything into one one drawing so that's now opening up so any minute so that is our designed PCB so if I orbit that you can see it's a really good um, image of our PCB so you really get a feel for how it's going to look so if we then go back to this tab so back to our PCB now we want to manufacture this so what we need is some Gerber files on a, in a zip folder that you can then send to the PCB manufacturer of your choice um, so then you go into the manufacturing click under manufacturing then cam processor oh it says it's not been saved so I need to do a save LED1 click save so go back to the manufacturing tab cam processor and then click this tab or this box up here export as zip and that means you'll get a zip file in your job folder and then just click process job and then save job process successfully and then if we open the folder we can see it's there so this is the one we've just created here and that's got all your cam outputs in it um, everything you need so that so we don't need to change that again so this is how it's done have a go yourself like I say it's worth doing a really simple PCB first just to get your head around to do it and then move on to something a bit more complex thanks for watching um, check out the instructables page for more details on the actual um, 
555 based servo tester.